back. How did you do? I'm going to reveal some information about this document and see how it compares with the ideas you had. So there are several clues that tell us that this is an image of a lifeboat. This is a collapsible type. The sides are made out of canvas, which is very thick and hard wearing. It's also made out of other materials such as wood and cork and was intended to be watertight. However, there are some reports that there was water in the bottom of this boat. These lifeboats could have had up to eight oars, but only three can be seen here. And that shorter white one at the back is for steering, a bit like a rudder. The men doing the rowing and the steering are likely to be mainly crew from the original ship. The other people are mostly women, but there are a few men apart from the crew. The fact that they are wearing life jackets is a major clue about why they are in this lifeboat. They are passengers from another much larger ship and have been able to get into a lifeboat. They are now waiting to be rescued. It's also very cold, which is why they are wearing hats and scarves and coats under their life jackets. Some of you may already know the name of a very famous ship that sank. Could this be a photograph of the survivors? What do we know? This is a lifeboat without much modern technology, the black and white image, and the people in the boat are mainly women. Does that support or challenge your suggestion? We wondered where this photograph had been taken from. Well, it was in fact taken from aboard a ship called the Carpathia in the early morning of April the 15th, 1912. But how did they know these people needed help? Well, the Carpathia had received several SOS telegrams that night from a ship called the Titanic. Did you guess that? It took nearly two hours for the Carpathia to reach the survivors, but they were able to rescue over 700 people from other lifeboats. This is a photograph of lifeboat D, which was the last lifeboat launched from the Titanic before it sank. It also contained two of the youngest survivors, brothers aged just two and three years old. The document code is copy one slash five six six, which means it comes from our copyright files. Anyone who wants to claim ownership over an image has to apply for a copyright. We have millions of images from a huge range of individuals and companies and only a few relating to the Titanic in our copyright files. However, we also have a huge number of other files connected to the Titanic including passenger lists and interviews with survivors that were collected as part of an inquiry into this disaster at sea.